Well, it's a new era in South Bend. The Marcus Freeman era has officially begun there. Spring practice is underway. Freeman taking over after the winningest coach in game history. Left for the Bayou and LSU. Here's more from Freeman on what he expects from his players this year. It's those guys that have come through this building, come through this campus and been a part of Notre Dame, they come back and they, they pay it forward to this current team. Right? That's what I want. That's, that's my vision for this entire Notre Dame football program, past and present, is that, hey, we are all in this together. So Jack Cohn coming back and, and giving his knowledge to the current quarterbacks is, is what it's all about. And I think that's a, a great representation of what I view is, is this program should be about. All right, Mr. Fighting Irish himself, Brady Quinn, uh, you were there for the Marcus Freeman press conference, that video we showed. You got to introduce him. Uh, give us just your expectations for his first season. What would be a success? Well, I, I think it's really a standard that's been set when he first got there as one year as defensive coordinator before he got elevated to head coach. It's double-digit wins, try to go to the college football playoff. I mean, they've now been in the hunt for that over the past five years, and that's what the expectation is. That's the standard now. And so there's, there's some questions to be answered, though. You know, he talked about Jack Cohn coming back uh, to talk to that quarterback group, which is a young group and some big shoes to fill. I thought Jack Cohn came in as a grad transfer and played really well for the Irish in some big spots. And now Tyler Buckner, who was really the, the change-up quarterback last year, more of an athletic style, more of a runner, he's going to get his shot. And I, I think there's good and bad to that. You know, he brings much more of a dual-threat ability to this offense and a legitimate run threat. You could see that last year, rushed for over 300 yards. But he's only thrown the ball 35 times. Now, in those 35 pass attempts, he has three touchdown passes. That's pretty good. But probably the worst part is he's got three interceptions. And so clearly uh, some of that youth had showed that's going to be one of the things they're going to try to protect and build upon. But he's got a great offensive line, a talented running back room, uh, playmakers, the best tight end in the country. Uh, they've got all that working for them. So really it comes down to Buckner at the quarterback position and what that looks like. And then the defense. Remember, they hired Al Golden, who was a linebacker's coach with the Cincinnati Bengals. He steps in as their defensive coordinator now. You've got some pieces who are missing, in particular their unbelievable safety, Kyle Hamilton. So there's some big shoes to fill. I got to keep an eye on Brandon Joseph. He's the Northwestern transfer that's come in now, looking to replace those shoes on defense. And then Isaiah Foskey up front at the DN position. He led the team in sacks a year ago. He came back because I think he could only improve his draft stock to be one of these guys we start talking about who's going to be drafted in the top 10 in the 2023 draft. Yeah, I think there's incredible reason for optimism. I like to hire Marcus Freeman, but then I really liked what he did with his staff. Brady mentioned defensive coordinator Al, Al Golden. How about Tommy Reese retaining him as the offensive coordinator, which might actually open up this offense? And I think – the one thing that was really important for me was there's been a culture, a winning culture that was established by Brian Kelly, and now it's going to be carried on by Marcus Freeman. There's not a whole new turnover, you know, a new philosophy, new systems in place. I think Marcus Freeman's going to enhance what Brian Kelly brought. The one thing that has me concerned is the schedule, which is always really tough for the Fighting Irish. They play as tough a schedule as anybody, but week one, going to the shoe, uh, playing Clemson this year, Going to USC late in the season at North Carolina could be a tricky one. And then BYU is a tricky game there, too. I mean, always a challenge. But three of those games I look uh, at, specifically the at Ohio State, at USC, and Clemson, are toss-up games where Notre Dame probably will be an underdog in those. Maybe not against Clemson. Depends on what happened to their quarterback. So that's my biggest concern. But long-term vision for Notre Dame, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, I think they might even be healthier from a player buy-in perspective with Marcus Freeman at the helm. We do want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game. The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.